Alright, hello and welcome back. Tonight we have more for Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy the Duelist, and I'm going to hopefully be finishing off the reverse duels for GX here. Try four interest top. We'll go second here since uh, Cyber Dragons like to go second, and I'd like to minimize that. Fusion Sage. Yep, here it comes. Different Dimension Capsule. Don't need this. I guess this one's okay, but not ideal. Hello, Poke LVB. Uh, not too much. I'm just doing more of the reverse duels here, hoping to finish off the GX era tonight. What is this one? Of course, it's just enough that I can't beat it. The fact that's an attack mode implies to me that's probably a mirror force of some sort. Let's set Clayman here for defense purposes and let's go into the battle phase. Now, watch that be a mirror force. Okay, it's not. I guess he just wanted the card draw effect really badly. Well. Not against Cyber Dragon ZA is too smart for its own good. It can be, yeah. They like to make the really big plays, but the good news is they usually eat up all their resources in doing so, so if you can out their big boss monster, you can usually get through just fine. Flip some. Now, I'm hoping Skyscraper will allow these guys to beat over whatever those face downs are. Oh, I didn't even need Skyscraper there. Let's nuke this. Ah, that's why the third one didn't come out of the deck. I guess that's good for now. Drop a kaiju on it. Sadly, I don't have access to those yet. I was... I was intending to do all these in order, but... Oh. Fusion might actually be in my best interests here. Well, maybe not. Alright, let's do this. Bubble Man! There we are. This means I can now ooh, attack directly with all my other heroes. Monsters that summon themselves are annoying. Yeah, they are. Oh, right. Because of one day of peace. Alright, that's fine. I still took out his monsters so he can't use them for fusion. At least not until he gets overload fusion, I think it is. Alright, let's just summon Bubble Man up here, and I've got a lot of really low attack monsters. Oh well. The more damage I do, the better. You start with Vrains, you can start with Tricksters and Goki. I wanted to do this franchise in each series in the franchise in order, but I'm starting to wonder if I should uh, break the order at least a little. Going into this series, I uh, was familiar with every single one of them except for Zexel, so I watched that since the YouTube channel and such have it all uploaded. And I actually ended up liking it a bit more than I was expecting, so I may actually just jump to that one next. Besides, the XE's era is when they had Medolches, right? I like Medolches. End phase, and turn change. Okay. I'm almost not sure if I even want to fuse, but I guess I can see here. Mudball Man. 
this is really the best we can do. Alright, fine. Bubble Man and Clay Man. Holly, yep. We can use the story decks, it doesn't matter too much, does it? Uh, for the regular duel story duels, I'm using the story decks. For the reverse ones, I decided not to limit myself to those. Largely because I couldn't help but notice a handful of these decks are designed pretty clearly to lose to the protagonist's deck. Ah, eh, why not? Let's fight him with attack him with Wing Karibo for the disrespect points. First of all. Yep. Maybe that was a good idea. Attack him with Wing Karibo. Shame that couldn't be lethal damage, but oh well. I still do use reverse duels. I'll probably still stick to reverse duels for anyone with a particularly fun deck. I mean, some of the villains here have some pretty fun decks to work with, even if they're pretty bad. Like, uh... Uh... Sartorius had a pretty good one, for example. Ooh, duel for hire. Let's, uh, play with the Ancient Gears. I've only had to really use it once so far, but that was because Kaiba has trouble in the in the very first duel period because Yugi has a lot of ways to search out Exodia and Kaiba doesn't have any ways to negate his stalling tactics, which is rather annoying. Some of them are really bad. Mostly a problem with DM. I think it's it's also been a pretty big issue in GX because Jaden has a lot of cards in his deck that are only good in the specific situation that happened in the anime, and depending on how cards get drawn, the enemy might not make that play that it counters. And if what I remember, and from what I remember of 5Ds, Yusei also has a lot of cards in his deck which are designed specifically to counter what was happening in that particular episode. Swords revealing light is the most annoying thing ever. Oh yeah. A gear Town. Let's go ahead and place this here. Uh, let's go ahead and set MST then. If Toon World shows up, I need to nuke it. Actually, I could destroy it here to summon my ancient gear, but I don't need to do that yet. I guess I can place the Magnus Circle here. And let's go ahead and just start out with Ancient Gear Knight. A good, strong opening hand. Yeah, there's a lot of dead cards that really didn't need to be printed, like uh, Spark Man, Spark Gun, or the Bubble Man, Bubble Blaster, or... Yeah, there's basically any of the ones that require a specific one of the vanilla elemental heroes to be on the field to activate are very clearly designed to... Okay, here comes Toon Kingdom. So let's go ahead and pop this. There we are, Chain Strike. Oh, never mind. He had another one in his comic hand. Well, that was annoying. He opened up with everything he needed. It was fun taking out Jack Atlas with the Nordic deck. It only took five tries. Yeah, if I remember right, Nordics only really work if you start out with the one that immediately summons Odin from your starting hand. And otherwise, it's kind of not going to do anything for you. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do now. I'm pretty sure he's going to beat me this turn. Yeah, I can't win with this deck. I think technically I earn more point, pity points if I lose directly rather than a surrendering, so I'll just die to the life points here anyways. I know one of the Ancient Gears has piercing damage, but Knight isn't one of it. Might as well go second, I suppose. Two 
Toon Kingdom. Toon Gemini Elf. One card placed on top of the deck. I got tired of playing Mako Tsunami's Reverse Duel. I got extremely lucky with that one and the uh, Panic one. In fact, after looking at Panic's deck online, I'm not entirely sure if he's if he's got an ability to win in gem. If he really has a win condition at all in his deck. Basically, what I the only thing you can really do with him is hold up on Castle of Dark Illusions until one of his zombies is strong enough to win. You can't even play his Field Spell card bec because it powers up spellcasters, and that includes Dark Magician, which is really goofy. Ancient Gear Soldier. Uh, let's set Limiter Removal here. I'm gonna wait until he declares an attack, and then... Alright, now we can attack this. The number of monsters didn't change, so we can do this. No. There you go, he just took out his own monster. Oh right, Toon Kingdom protects them. I lost the monster, but I should be fine if I can... Okay, never mind. Went 5Ds make Blackwing and wiped him. You're set up to win a lot in the early DM, huh? Yeah. Like I said, it's pretty clear they want... They set everything. I don't think I have a way to handle this. Yeah, that doesn't even activate the effect, so... Alright, this I'll just have to deal with it. Yeah, the... A lot of the duels are designed to recreate what happened in the anime series, and that's especially true of the DM era. Oh, lovely. Wait, how is he doing two trip? Oh yeah, because tunes are all special summoned. And two Dark Magician Girls, the only one that doesn't have the summoning sickness that prevents from attacking on the first turn it's summoned. So of course, he draws all three of them right away. Yeah, we're not winning this one. Yeah, I think the pity points are higher when you lose properly through life points or whatever. Six Samurai. Now, that's one deck I know has been a fan favorite since it first showed up in GX. Actually, yeah, like I mentioned, I ended up liking Zexel a lot more than I expected. I guess... Oh. I gotta hope he doesn't open with Comic Hand, I guess. Activate effect. I think the main thing I didn't like about Zexel was just the protagonist himself. I get what they were going for. They wanted Yuma to start out as being absolutely terrible rather than being some you know, a master early on like a lot of the other protagonists are, but... These are all tribute monsters. Oh, lovely. I forgot about that. I need to remember that. Funny how Six Samurai is an infinite resource generation combo. Yeah. What's more funny is that Six Samurai actually used to... When they first started out, they were actually one of the weaker decks. Because they were kind of slow, but the support they got later really made them something incredible. And I don't even know what I can do here. I actually don't think I can win this. Alright. Toon World will protect it. Yeah, he can discard as many cards as he needs to. He platoons that can't be destroyed, period. Because that's not specifically 
Splatoon table of contents. Oh hey, the CPU is smart enough to know to thin out the deck before going for the uh... Is this even winnable? Oh wait, it is. It just He just has to never draw any of the cards that... He just can't draw Comic Hand, he cannot draw Toon Kingdom, he cannot draw Toon Table of Contents. That is nine card. That's already one fourth of his entire deck. I have to hope he never draws. Yeah, the first six were so bad. I might as well set MST here. I'll set the... Uh, this one... Here we are. Is it worth saving for Comic Hand? Wait, no. Yeah, I was thinking saving this for either Toon World or for either Toon Kingdom or Comic Hand, because Comic Hand will get me back my monster while... Yeah, if Toon World's destroyed, then this card should be destroyed as well, so as long as I destroy Toon Kingdom, it should theoretically destroy all of his monsters, but that's a big if. <laughs> Guard from your hand. Let's see here. Hot agreed. I don't want to destroy it quite yet. Now let's not activate MST quite yet. Toon Cannon Soldier. Is he gonna sacrifice something for damage? Yes, he is. Activate it. Pot of Greed. Alright, we're gonna activate this here. Discard Toon Gear, uh, Gear Cannon and put that card back onto the top of his deck so that he has to... Let's save this for Comic Hand. Let's go and attack. No. Alright, good. That can't, whatever that is, it can't protect him, so that's all that matters. Five hundred chip damage. Add, add, it'll add up, but yeah. The duels in the GX era feel a little slow. Oh right, I can't protect her, protect him from her. Oh, he can't. Oh right, because of the summoning sickness, he can't. Uh, because of summoning sickness, he tune Gemini Elf can't attack this turn. Let's see here. I'll discard this. No, don't chain anything to it. I guess this is a little risky, but let's set limiter removal. Alright, he's gonna attack now.
Activate the effective card, yes please. Limiter removal. Here we are. Yeah, let's not bother with MST right now. Sadly, I do lose my monster now and tune Cyber Dragon, dang it. Actually, at this point, I might want to seriously consider, yeah, MSTing my own card here to get a monster out. Chain active. Miss timing. Oh. Uh, should I even bother continuing? I'm pretty sure I'm about to lose horribly. I forgot about the miss timing effect. Yeah, miss timing is a really, really silly mechanic. I guess in theory it's nice to balance some cards, but the fact of the matter is it doesn't really work most of the time. And this is supposed to be a searcher, but it can't even do that. Just enough to destroy it. How very annoying. Also, I think I need to start the game with this in order for it to be any good. Especially given how many tribute monsters are in the ancient gears. Let's just quit and start here. It's wasting everyone's time. Oh, lovely. We get to be roids. This is not going to suck horribly. No, sir. Beacroids are so, so awful. Even at the time they were released, they weren't any good. Diffusion might actually save me. I'm not gonna emergency provisions that. No, stop that. Oops, I forgot I can't attack this turn. Oh well. I can protect it with magic cylinder. No, forget the silly emergency provisions. Well, actually, maybe I could set that and chain it to this so I get healing. Yes, yeah, so I can do that. Speedroids are great, though. Yeah, speedroids are good. In fact, they're so good, the Viacroids have... The later Viacroids support all say you're not allowed to use these cards with any roid monsters that are also wind-type. Which... First of all, it... It doesn't just negate the speed roids, it also negates a lot of the really good actual vehicroids. Emergency provisions. There we are. Chain. There we are. Solidarity. If you have only one original type of monster, all your monsters are the same type. An angel attack. Oh, this should be good. I only have machine type monsters, so this will be good. Alright, we're gonna tribute summon submarine roid in order to bring back Rescue Roid. And it can actually attack rather well now. Excellent. I have to be careful because he actually does have cyber darks and can fuse something actually threatening. Does it? Yeah. A recent... Yeah, Mixeroid is the most recent example I can think of. And of course, he gets just enough damage to beat over it. How incredibly... frustrating. 2600, excellent. Alright, and during his turn, this attack is reduced, but it shouldn't be enough to be an issue. Standby phase, main phase. Exploder Dragon. Right. Oh, it can attack directly still. Interesting. Of course. I need a monster, man. Drillroid, you are sufficient. 
Alright, I will admit this could be going a lot worse, that's for sure. Why did he pick up this trash when he went to with when he had the big boy cyber dragons? Uh, he went kind of insane after losing to Ast after Astro Phoenix humiliated him. Let's see here. Your opponent declares attack while you only control roids. You get a pot of greed effect. Well, that sounds good to me. Destroy that monster regardless of defense points. That's good. And I have supercharged, so if he tries to attack me in any form, I can at least get a pot of greed. Zane had a really weak... You didn't watch the anime, I have no idea. Well, basically, after he tried to go pro, he faced Astro Phoenix, who pretty much completely humiliated him. And so he was forced to do an underground... And a dueling ring, an illegal underground dueling ring with a guy who basically was doing his best Mike Tyson impression and, oh crap, Pot of Avarice. And he gets two draws out of that too. So he gets his own Pot of Greed. How lovely for me, am I right? Well, I should be able to at least do some damage with this, so let's go. Direct attack. Oh yeah, he's almost dead. I just have to hope he doesn't draw a Mirror Force or anything. Or another Exploder Dragon. After uh, Zane went to the underground dueling, illegal underground dueling ring, he ended up like, switching, going full edgelord, joined a bad group, and then basically ended up, uh, Charlotte's Fish with Truckroid, and ended up uh, being the biggest edgelord ever, until Jaden and the others break him out of it. Red Dragon. Crap. Well, I need to beat him now, or else this might be a problem. There we go. That went way better than expected, especially given how badly it was for a duel for hire. Let's see here, jewel of a duel. I don't want to do this one because, uh, as much as I like Crystal Beasts, if you're not doing an Xyz or Synchro deck with them, or if you're not focusing on Rainbow Dragon, they don't really do anything if we're blunt. Future changes might be better because Blair actually has some a gimmick deck, but it could be fun to act, actually be fun to use. Illegal dueling, there's supposed to be some logic to this. Uh, basically it was treated as a cage match. It was illegal be technically speaking because they would attach shock collars to everyone where uh, it's basically like the Merrick duel. Anyone who took life points damage would take shock damage equal to what the monster took. So it was basically a shadow game but without magic. <laughs> And that's why it was technically the illegal dueling ring. Ojama Country and Ojama Black. Alright, let's get rid of Ojama Country. Because I really do think that's the biggest threat here. Beckoning Light. Discard your entire hand, then for each card, add one light monster from a graveyard to your hand. Doesn't matter here. Pixie Ring while I have two face-up attack position your opponent counts to get monsters with the lowest attack for Now, let's take out Ojama Black. There we are. I actually like Ojamas as the semi-memes deck. Crystal Beast, a.k.a. Baby's First True Draco. I thought Baby's First True Draco was Monarchs. Shots fired. Let's see here. Pixie Knight, when this card's in the graveyard, you're on the top of your deck. I guess some more damage wouldn't hurt. Yeah, it's just more Ojamas, and that's an Ojama Red, not an Ojama Blue. Ojama Blue would actually give him some pretty good searching power. Let's see here. 
I guess I can place this in case he gets another Ojama country. I can just set this in case he tries to attack into it for whatever reason. The silly man. Ojama yellow. I hope he doesn't draw Ojama and Dala. Or is that even in this game? I think that's a video game exclusive card because I know they didn't make it in the actual card game. Well, at least I'm getting a lot of life points out of this. Ebon Magician Kiran. Alright. Ooh, I can deal him some burn damage even if I can't attack. That'll be interesting. Well, looks like Chaz didn't draw any of his good cards, or at least no polymerization in time to get Ojama King or Ojama Knight. Alright, let's go to main phase 2 here and put Beckoning Light in case I need it. I don't want to MST my own cards, silly. Yeah, he's he's got nothing. Worst case scenario, that's an Ojama blue and he gets two searches, but that's not going to do anything for him. Ooh, nice. I forgot about the burn damage. This isn't really a burn deck, but it's always fun whenever there's a neat one. I actually did like using Axel Brody's deck, but I wish this game had the Supreme King arc. Having to play as uh, Axel Brody to defeat Supreme King would have been really fun, or at least I think so. Jama Black. Finish off Jazz, buddy. There we are. The Oja Magic. Primal Instinct, Head in the Clouds. I actually do like Cloudians, but they're really s Well, it's not they're slow, they're a stall deck. Of course they're slow. They just uh, don't really have too much, w since their big boss monster can, keeps, can easily turn uh, enemy monsters into defense position if you know what they're doing. And without their 3k attacker, Cloudians are really... Well, they just, just remove stuff with cloud counters. Monarchs don't really cheat, though. They just just need a tribute. That's true. Don't... Don't true Dracos have some tribute effects? Or am I thinking of, like, Rikas or something? Let's go with Primal Instinct here and play as the Dinosaur deck. GX was a really weird installment, but then again, there is some appeal in a more experimental series. I think in the general sense, GX and 5Ds are the more experimental... Uh, Plus series. Oh, well, like I said, I did end up liking Zexel more than expected. The rivals were neat. The villains were really interesting. I liked Astral. I just did. I just didn't really like Yuma himself, if we're honest. Very end phase of your control. Jurassic World. Destroy all cards on the field. Maybe I can bait out. Uh, let's see here. I have that. can special summon one monster in the graveyard. Well, he can't do that if he has nothing in his graveyard, right? That is an Earth. So, Earth would negate the effects destroyed by battle. Uh, let's go with a vanilla monster, then. Uh, let's play it safe and attack with higher... Of course. That still was... Attack with a higher level one... Higher attack one still wasn't enough. Yeah, baby is Sarah. Baby Sarasaurus is pretty good. No idea where Ovi Raptor is. Ooh, Jurassic World. This will be just good enough. Excellent. Now I can finally smack over that thing. Might as well set this in defense position so he might attack into it if I'm lucky. Alright, let's first break this. Oh boy, he sent an... Alright, let's see if this one's any luckier. Yep. He can't fuse with that, at least. Although Ollie has multiple piece golem, which I believe is cheating, because I know that's a 5Ds card.
It adds a die with a hand or dumps to grave on summit. Interesting. Oh, crap. During your unpaid control Jurassic World. Parental tribute. This should help. Alright, we're gonna summon this guy and start attacking here. Catapult zone. A small piece goal, and then its effects are negated. Not that it really matters right now, but I can torrental tribute. Destroy all his monsters if I need to. And oh, dinosaur decks. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I wonder if Tyranno Hassleberry can eventually get Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Probably not. That card's way too powerful for this era of the game. At this rate, I could probably deck the dude out. Alright, we know what to do now. Torrental Tribute. Excellent. Special summon from the deck. Let's see here, what do I want? I don't have any banished dinos, but... Worst case scenario, a 1900 attack beater is pretty reliable, so let's go with that. There we are. And phase, and now it's my turn. Now I can start dealing him some good damage. Uh, you know what, let's summon this over just so that he can't turtle up. Now I just have to hope he doesn't draw anything good because I've just outed basically his entire... Or he's basically got all his resources gone. I just have to hope he doesn't draw something that can stop me. Fossil dig. Why not? Let's search this baby out. Sure, let's get Sabersaurus up here. Oh yeah, I was using this Jim Crocodile deck earlier. Sucks. But want to know the funny thing? They actually printed Jim's uh, fossil deck in the actual card game recently, but it's so recent they couldn't have it in the game. So it's actually kind of hilarious. MST. Well, that's fine. I can just do this. Let's see. I just need to hope he doesn't get anything major in the next turn so that I can finish him off next time. As long as he doesn't draw Mirror Force, I should be safe. Keyword being should. That's okay. Dark Triceratops deals pierce damage. Uh, let's just regular summon it. Actually, what am I doing? I can use this. I've got a level 5 or higher dinosaur, so I can get rid of this one. It goes back to his hand, but that doesn't matter because he's about to be a Dark Dreceratops. Here we are. Oh, that was actually fun. Yeah, I think I like uh, Tyranno Hasselberry's dinosaur deck, though a shame he doesn't have Ultimate it's Tyranno or Ultimate Conductor Tyranno for that. And yeah, I guess it's neat that the AI was smart enough to prevent lethal damage with that. I played all these because I actually do like a lot of the decks in the later areas, like uh, Yubel forcing the enemy to suicide into her was really was fun to work with. And of course, Yugi has a lot, a much better deck than Jaden, for honest. Jaden for this deck has like 41, 41 offs. What? <clears throat> ah, I'm tripping over my own words here. While well, Yugi has an actual coherent deck with three MST and you know an actual good deck.
new breed of hero. Let's sure, let's fight the destiny heroes. Hello Akros Ak Hello Akronoskos. Does that have the god cards? It does, but I didn't really summon them for hopefully obvious reasons. During the DM era, I did summon them a few times for flavor purposes, but they're usually not that great. Well, no, to be fair, Obelisk actually did save me once because of his targeting immunity. I can assure you I was actually quite surprised when his targeting immunity saved me. Right, check Jaden's fusion deck here. Wait, Necroid Shum? Oh, that's not Tempest? That's three. Hero Signal. I don't need Fusion Gate yet, so let's go attack this. There we are. How's it going? Ah, uh, fine, Akronoskos. I'm just uh, doing some more of these reverse duels. Some, for some of them, I may use some of the default structure decks because the original one is actually absolutely quite horrible. There's probably a nice old Auradon combo that turbos on the first turn. I'll try it later. Sorry, if I click outside the window, it automatically pauses the game. And of course, people message me on Discord while I'm streaming. I am obviously the I am obviously only the most professional streamer. Yes, sir. <laughs> Wait, I need to draw the god card anyway. Never mind. The only time I seriously saw some god cards get used was in Duel Links, and that was because uh, it was more of a support for Resonator decks, because Resonators don't use the normal summon, but they can get a ton of monsters out. So yeah, weirdly, we had, there was a time that uh, Jack Atlas players were running in a Dark End Dragon and ob freaking Obelisk, <laughs> because targeting isn't... It's one of the few. There's not too many uh, non-targeting destruction in that game right now. It's actually kind of hilarious <laughs> seeing an Egyptian god in the, uh, one of the top uh, used cards for a period of time. Though I believe right now Onomats are the more popular one in that game. Lock Tower. I really wish I had something better than this. Heck, I'd be willing to go into an Xyz monster with these two Avions rather than using Avion. Uh, tenacious, let's see here. Mm, that wouldn't do anything. Well, one, two, three. You know what, let's just deny him its use. So you know what, let's do something really dumb and bring him over to our side. Ah, now Jaden is the master of Destiny Heroes. Hero decks are really neat, but there's so many variations it feels hard to keep up with them, you know? But it's nice that they have so much customization options. They even made some later Elemental Heroes, which were pretty cool. I think my favorite's Ab Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. Both from an effect and an aesthetic point of view, I mean. Uh, it's been a while since I played. They do have Xyz. Yeah, they've got Xyz. They also announced that Arc 5 World is coming this year as well, so yeah. Ooh, nice. I can still activate Hero Signal. Let's get Burst in a Tricks out here because I'd really like to get Flame Wingman. Ooh, Pot of Greed. Not agree. This lets me draw two cards. Alright, let's activate Fusion Gate and 
flame wingman. Oh, I can make Tempest, too. You know what? Let's make Tempest. Oh, Bubble Man. Well, that's the better use of Bubble Man, I'd say. I've seen Madman run a main deck and encounter sphere mode a while back. Run raw in a main deck and counter sphere mode. Oh, that's interesting. Running raw to counter sphere mode. Uh, do I want to tribute summon? Do I want Flame Wing Man? You know what? Let's go with Flame Wing Man. Might as well get all the elemental hero fusions just to flex on Aster here. And there we go. And let's beat him. There we are. You win. Graduation match. This one should actually be fun. I get to actually play as a fun deck with the... Uh, with those cyber dragons. My main deck. Oh, and since it came up here, my main deck in uh, Duel Links, it, it's an Amazon deck, but I've also recently made a uh, Yosenju deck that's actually been a lot of fun lately. Yosenjus are also in this game, along with their pendulums for that matter, so that'll be fun once I get to Arc 5 World, that is. I think my favorite archetypes are mostly going to be Zexel and Arc 5, because Madolce is, uh, Madolce is definitely an, a Zexel era archetype, and. All the rest are, well, you send you as Arc 5. Let's see. Card attacks a monster, gains attack. Add one Cyber Dragon. You know what? Let's risk it here. Cyber Dragon Core. Cyber Repair Plant. That's really the only spell card in this deck. Really? Well. Okay, I guess. Rare Metal Morph. Oh, this is the alternate artwork Metal Morph. Neat. <laughs> Alright, let's see how badly Jaden tries to nuke me, and if I can recover. I have been laid Link since Samurai Tier Zero. I believe I first ended up playing around the GX era when they added 5D's World, and then at that time, Amazons and Fur Hire were meta. I took about a two-year leave of it, and then I decided to come back for a bit, and that's when I started making the current decks. Sadly, it looks like the Mayakashi deck is not in this game, which is a little disappointing. What the... Equip only to elemental a while against my attack when they equip monsters destroyed by a card effect. What the yeah, Boomerang is another one of those cards that existed for no other reason than it needed to it existed so Jaden can do something specific in the anime. Yeah, when equip monsters destroyed by a card effect in the graveyard destroy all two and traps inflict like hundred damage each for it. Yeah. Welcome to the experimental GX era, where our cards have a random burn damage effect. Now let's attach it here. And what's this? Do again? Return reveal one spell. This card becomes Cyber Dragon. It also becomes Cyber Dragon while in the graveyard. All right, let's go. Attack Wild Heart. And of course, he has Mirror Force. I forgot, Jaden has three Mirror Forces. Mayakashi is in the game with the card you think is missing. I never could. Uh, Mayakashi is the... Uh, you know how Shiranui is a s group of samurai exorcists who battle evil spirits? The Mayakashis are the evil are the evil spirit yokai that they battle, and I can't recover from this board because I guarantee you there's at least one other... Dang it. Let's see here. I have one light machine. 
All right, let's do this. Cyber repair plant. Add one lime machine to your deck your hand. Add one lime machine to your graveyard. Shuffle that to your deck. All right, let's see. I should have regular cyber dragon in here, right? Please tell me I have a regular cyber dragon there somewhere. Okay, I do, yes. I can special summon this, which is always good. All right, activate effect. Its name is now Cyber Dragon. What do I have? Cyber and Dragon is literally all I have. Oh dear. This might not be good. Okay, good. None of those are mirror forces like I was afraid it was. Oh, but he does have hero signal. That's gonna suck for me. And I absolutely need to attack him because he can actually attack over stuff, so let's pop that. There we are. Oh, see, Mayakashi, it's Synchro Ladder. Yep, the nice thing about Synchro, about Mayakashi is they they have a Synchro Ladder like the uh, Stardust Dragon Light does and stuff, but they do it pretty much instantly, so it's very easy to follow. Alright, Monster Reincarnation. Discard. Let's discard Core from my hand, get back another Zway. And we'll summon Cyber Dragon Zway. Unfortunately, Duel Links does not have their level 13 Synchro Monster, so they don't have the 3300 attack beat, or beat stick. Which does suck, because Blue Eyes, it's not on the tier list right now, but it's a pretty popular deck still, so being able to attack over Blue Eyes is a pretty big deal for any attacker in that game. But uh, sadly, I'm pretty sure they can't bring it because it meant their Link monster in its text, and they don't want anything that even mentions that. It's also why Luna Lights aren't allowed to have Luna Light Black Sheep. That would, uh... Let's go to main phase two. And set this here. But yeah, that's also why Luna Lights aren't allowed Luna Light Black Sheep, which is the main card they use to search for, um... Oh. Well, if you want to do that, well, they search for polymerization, so that's yeah, a bit annoying. That's probably why they want to make sure Arc 5 World and presumably Vrain's World are coming out in a timely fashion so they can unlock all those. Because at one point they held off on releasing Zexal World and decided, let's do some filler this time. Let's uh, introduce so Dark Side of Dimensions. And Dark Side of Dimensions was a pretty good movie, so I could agree with that, but. They couldn't bring anything that hadn't even mentioned Nixie's monster or onward, which was pretty annoying, so... We ended up getting... There was a time when Invoked was destroying everything. Hmm. I wonder... That's a Mirror Force. Nope, it wasn't. I was worried about Mirror Force. There we are. Yeah, I can see Invoked nuking everything in there. Yeah. Kakaitis, the water Invoked, was so broken. It was one of the first, it was one of the few cards in the game that's ever been properly banned. That grass is, well, and grass looks greener, but that's because a lot of decks were completely ruining that. Considering how bad Grass looks greener broke the main game, I'm not sure why they thought Duel Links would be any less broken. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do the Chumley Duel. The funny thing, they don't even have the big ones like Makaba. Yeah, they don't. They did not add Makaba. They only added Purgatorio, uh, the Dark One, the Fire One, and the Water One. But yeah, Kakaitis was couldn't be used because... Well, first of all, it was before Blue Eyes got a lot of its support, so the 2900 defense was actually pretty was actually a much bigger deal. If they were to bring it back now, I think most decks would be a bit easier to handle it through combat, since Blue Eyes forces most cards to have at least some way to get over 3,000 attack or defense. But yeah, it's an inability to be targeted, and also 2900 defense was too much for the game at the time, so they had to outright ban it. So, they didn't even have the good ones like Macabre. That would have absolutely obliterated the game. <laughs> 
But yeah. Shira, believe it or not, Shira Nui was actually overpowered for a while. Well, I guess because most decks don't have too many ways to get rid of, uh, to negate the graveyard plays it's capable of short of Necro Valley. So a lot of people are starting to play Necro Valley purely because of that. Uh, let's see here. Airs, Rocks, Sunrise, Target 1, Beast-type Monster, Special Summon that. If you do all face-up current bonus, lose 200 attack for each. You don't activate one per turn. When this card is destroyed by battle, instead of the graveyard, then summon a number of from your deck and face down defense position. Well, since I can't attack, I can't attack this turn, right? Well, might as well put this in here so I can get the team going. Let's see how it goes. It's funny that Shiranu is so bad. Well, water invoked, aka fake super every samurai. That's where my skullmeister at. Introducing DD Crow at the time would be nice. They have since introduced DD Crow, yes. It was in one of the Zexel boxes. So plenty of decks even still use it. But just because it's pretty useful. Okay, here we are. I guess I should summon the kangaroo here. Oh crap, he can get out uh, Ancient Gear Golem now. I have to hope he doesn't draw into it. I don't mind a little burn damage. But not having access, but him having Ancient Gear Golem is gonna be really, really painful. Okay, he doesn't have it. He's not gonna activate that card until he has it, so I should be fine. Ancient Gear Workshop. Yeah, I don't have anything that can beat over that. Might as well just post and put these down and hope for the best. I really need Desk Kangaroo, because I'm pretty sure that's the only fusion Chumley has that's any good. Let's see. I can summon from the deck, but I can't do that because they're all in my hand because... Why would you want to draw into what's basically a Garnet? Ruction Punch. Actually, what fusion cards are in here other than Desk Kangaroo, Desk Koala? Now, let's just restart because I can't see anything good coming from this. Chumley's deck is pretty much entirely just get Desk Koala out there, and that's basically the only thing you can do. I also remember this episode. I believe this was their excuse to write him out of the show and they basically replaced him with Tyranno Hasselberry. And then this game doesn't even bring Tyranno Hasselberry's introduction. He just kind of shows up in one event out of nowhere. <laughs> Ancient Gear Wyvern. Now, what do I need for these again? Des Koala and Des Kangaroo. I, oh yeah, Master of Oz. I'm, I was mixing up with Des Koala for some reason. Yeah. Master of Oz is actually pretty good. 4 200 is pretty strong. Uh, koala Koala. Sea Koala and you can summon a beast from your hand of the Great Bird. Target one pawn, stir the opponent controls and destroy it. It's not too bad, I guess. I'm not sure what purpose this serves, but I guess this can work. None of these require Kangaroo Champion, right? Wait, isn't it? Oh, it's Big Koala, not Dez. Might as well do this for a little burn damage. Stronger than Chaos Max. Yeah, that's funny. Would love to play artifacts and Duel Links. Uh, Duel Links does have some of the artifacts, but not all of them. And I don't believe it's enough that they're a coherent deck quite yet. Oh, it didn't activate the flip effect. Also, isn't Ancient Gear Wyvern from Arc 5? <laughs> I could swear it was uh, later than GX proper. Oh, 
Oh boy, middle aged Max. Oh wait. Yeah, yeah. I can't say polymerization uh, anything. I guess I have to like, into his stall until I draw the right thing to get Master of Oz. Preferably Master of Oz, anyways. Desk Koala is except. Oh, come on! Well, at least it's not Ancient Gear Golem. Whatever dubious that it, value that is. Now, Duel Links has a lot of really weird stuff. Like, they added some Necroz monster, but, like, monsters, but, like, none of the actually worthwhile ones. Must control a beast type other than a monster to activate this effect. Well, lovely. some shenanigans here, at the very least. Oh, lovely. He's gonna sacrifice that to get out Ancient Gear Golem. Lovely. And that deals pierce damage, so there's nothing I can do to stop it. Yeah, because the game refused to give me the final draw, I couldn't win that, no matter what. But let's put the fear of Trishula. Trishula and Brionic are both in the game already. And both do see, indeed, see regular play. They're just really good for their respective types, really. They also have Mud Dragon, but there's no super polymerization, so nobody really plays it. Ancient Gear Frame. Oh, lovely. He got Ancient Gear Golem already. Well, at least I got Big Koala, but... A huge species of Desk Koala. He's meek, but people are afraid of him because he's very powerful. Not powerful enough, but once I fuse him into Master of Oz, that will change. Without Kalazo's and Manju Sinju doesn't mean much. I oh dang the pierce damage really got me. Monster, your control is lower than the depth of the. Oh, if the attack of the pulp monster is. Lo oh no. That's not gonna help me much, but I might be able to do something with this. Yeah, destroy during the end phase. That's gonna. That's gonna suck, but I think I might be able to do this. Alright, we're gonna try this to kill the Ancient Gear Golem. We're gonna summon Big Koala and use Wild Nature's release to break it. I don't think he has a way to revive it, so I should be able to do this. Oh, come on, limiter removal. Well, the good news is he loses his golem too, so if I'm lucky, he won't draw into anything useful. He has a lot of tribute monsters if you're- Oh, come on! Activate this effect. 
big koala. Alright, big koala in attack mode. Activate its effect on itself. No. Alright, we're gonna try and attack him. I have to hope he doesn't draw anything useful. Oh, come on, yet another limiter removal. He loses it again, but sheesh. How does. What luck for him to draw into two of those? Come on, stop bugging me. Ooh, I know what I can do. No, don't activate yet. Attack here, then we'll activate... No. Now I activate this card to swap it for the other Des Koala in my hand. And then I can attack with this again. Big brain play. I was trying to reverse challenges and got frustrated and just decided to blow him back with a nice and fair Thunder Dragon deck. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? I can't beat this. That's a different Ancient Gear Golem, right? No, it's the same one. Oh, no, it is. Huh. Interesting. But unfortunately, I no longer have a way to win. Damn it. I was actually winning that one, but then the RNG decided to screw me. DDD, Doom King Armageddon. Who's strong, outskilled? Seems that way. Pot agreed. turn here because I want him to destroy that so I can thin out the deck, get my uh, other uh, nimble momongas out. Ancient Gear Beast. Ancient Gear Drill. Yeah, he's going to use that to get Ancient Gear Golem as soon as he can. Oh, come on. All right, let's do this. Koala, koala. I guess that wasn't a nice thing about the DM era. Everyone had three pots of greed and three monster reborns in their deck, so it was pretty easy to... Let's activate this effect. Let's koala and destroy that monster. Might as well bring Desk Kangaroo here. He can't limit a removal on a monster that doesn't exist, so let's do this. Armada's effect too strong. Here we go.
Of course he'd limit or remove all that. However, he does lose his monster, so if I can kill him this turn, it won't matter. Now, that's interesting. Gain attack equal to current defense, so this would become... I think we might actually be able to kill him this turn. And so if we can do this, we should be able to kill him quickly. So let's do it. This kangaroo, do it. All right, bum rush, bum rush, bum rush. Here we are. Excellent. Funny how the effect is mainly known even though Ancient Gear Golem had it for a while. If you mean the effect where they ignore spell and trap cards before... Or you mean, uh, do you mean the fact where they ignore spell and trap cards when attacking, or when, uh, they negate card effects when attacking? And yeah, Utopia the Lightning is pretty crazy. <laughs> Umnail's Endgame is really annoying because Jaden's deck is entirely built to counter it. Even Elemental Hero Electrum's entire reason for existence is to destroy it. A duel in love is real bad, too. I had trouble with this one because once he gets out Sparkman, I don't have too many ways to get rid of it unless Cyberblader is in my is a, in my hand already. So it's pretty tricky. Oh no, do we have a fusion structure deck? Let's try out the fusion structure deck. I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, this is the one I used to beat to Yugi. In fact, you can't activate spell traps or battles. Really, I've always refer heard it referred to as the Ancient Gear effect. I have heard some refer to it as the Armada's effect, granted, but... Alright, let's go second here. I remember using this deck because one of the fusion monsters has a burn effect that can deal damage in exchange for losing your battle phase, but since Yugi for the Exodia deck is nothing but stall, it didn't matter because... Probably shouldn't activate Fusion Gate since Jaden also has a Fusion deck. Can you take Wolf vs. Can Soldier? Or maybe it's worth it. Alright, let's use his effect. Alright. I think one of those is going to be a Mirror Force, so let's be careful. Armada's beat down pretty common early synchro. I'd believe that. I probably shouldn't have uh, done that and waited to see if there was, one of these was a mirror force. Yep. In fact, I remember. Now that I think about it. Uh, I remember finding out Jade not only has three mirror forces in the duel against uh, Camilla, Camula, but he also has three drowning mirror force, which basically means he basically has six mirror forces. Now, if he put down another, he probably drew another mirror force, so let's find out. No, he didn't. Interesting. Counterpicked, indeed. That's okay, I happen to have a one tribute monster right in my hand here. Actually, I should probably summon Burning and Patchy first. If I remember, there's a whole storyline with Impachi here, who starts out made of wood, he gets on fire, he then turns into charcoal. A uh, mirror gate. Oh my. That was really silly of me, wasn't it? Don't even know what the side deck is, and you can counter pick hard. Indeed. That's a. I've actually had that happen a few times, even in Duel Links. They have. 
Like, if I'm playing Mayakashi, somehow they'll have teched in a Necro Valley, probably for Thunder Dragons. And we're gonna summon this over the bot here. There we are. Hero signal. That's okay, I'll just blow up the next one. Okay, no, I won't. Time to activate the effect of this card. Swords Revealing Light ends after this turn, so I'll destroy whatever this is in exchange for... That one. There we are. The equipped monster gets 500 attack. Let's go and attach it to Blazing and Pachi. Just in case these are both Clayman. Claymans. Clayman. However you pronounce it. Nope, that's Elemental Hero Heat. One of the later additions. There are Thunder Dragons Duel Links? Uh, yes. So they're, they've actually been a fairly popular deck. They don't have everything. They don't have their fusion monster. But they've actually been really good due to... For a while now, due to how well they can recycle things. Once per turn, you cannot attack the activate. You turn your activate this. I should have put that in defense mode now that I think about it. That's another mirror force, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Excellent. He's almost good. He's almost gone. Die, 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 die. Okay, he's only used one mirror force so far. How is it not absurdly strong? They only have OG and Dark. Uh, they've got a handful because they had a, a main box that was dedicated to it, but their main boss monster is Levenir. They can Because they can easily get him out and he basically removes the back row since he can destroy two cards. There we are. Now let's finish this. With Eye Iron, which I'm pretty sure is an X, which is a, I'm pretty sure is a Zexal era card. Here we are. I'm Nails End Game. I'll try the story deck a bit, but his deck is really bad if I remember, so we'll find out shortly if I need to use another structure deck. Let's see here. Yeah, Thunder Dragons have been tier two for a while now, I believe. The power level in Duel Links is pretty low overall. There's actually a pretty large amount of viable decks at the moment. Let's see here. Onomatopoeia decks are the main, are the top one right now, but there's also Harpies and Resonators and... Ooh, add one here. Oh yeah, that's one of the main reasons. This right here is one of the main reasons Jaden's deck is so good in this duel. Stratos alone makes the whole thing that much better. Uh, let's just place this so I can get the one I need. Move from play one card. Earth, wind, earth. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, here we go. I don't think Prexes can deal with Titan, let alone Colossus, Stratos. Yeah, they definitely wouldn't be able to do that. Alright, stand by. Now I'm not going to activate anything yet. I want to see what kind of card he uses. Future Fusion. Oh, boy. Alright, yeah, let's activate this and get rid of uh, Rock Spirit. So, Earth monsters are disabled. All right, let's get Mage Co Macrocosmos. Your opponent's monsters have the same attribute, cannot declare an attack. But I did choose Earth, so why can... Oh, he's... is he light? Uh, show details. No, he's Earth. Weird. All 
Alright, when the special summons from your hand or deck. Summoning it from the deck should be quite useful. Here we are. I guess I might as well do what damage I can. He might do an even trade for Stratos, but Stratos doesn't do anything now that he already uses on summon effect. Yep, he's gonna get... Oh, he's not getting... Oh, we're gonna get one from the deck here, so let's put this in defense mode. It's not gonna do anything for a little while. I've never seen Wild Heart relevant before. Uh, when Amazons were meta, there were also some people running pure trap card decks, which meant that one spell card's immune to cards immune to uh, what's it called? Crap! Let's do this. Yeah, cards immune to uh, traps like Wild Heart and the other one, and that one. I think it was a six samurai card. They were actually quite meta for a little while, at least until the, uh, the trap baby made a fell. Let's see here. Paleozoics. Yeah, there's some. There's a good amount of Paleozoics, and Canada, Canada still gets used to this day. Actually, Needlebug next. Nest. Okay, I'll go ahead and banish all those. Future fusion. So we decided to go for Tempest, I guess. Weird. Actually can't do anything. Let's just commit to uh, Epuku. Let's try something else. Do I have anything good? Pendulum. Basic fusion pendulum? It skips right from pendulum from this to. Well, we haven't gone over pendulums. Let's go with Xyz, I guess. Let's see what this works. Paleo frogs. Sadly, they have frogs are not in Duel Links yet. Well, scratch that. They have the fusion and the uh, annoy the annoying but not particularly threatening ones like Treeborn Frog and Death Frog and Tadpole. But they don't have any of the Xyz monsters like Totally Awesome or Ronin Toadin. Where's my Link structure deck with Firewall and Code Talker? I do know Firewall and Code Talker are in the game, but I don't think they're in a structure deck. I think they. I haven't done any messed with the deck building in this game yet because all my favorite archetypes aren't here yet. Well, sort of, except for Amazons, but the issue with Amazons in this game is they don't have Onslaught. They only have the early game back when they were beatdown focused despite having crap attack stats. Well, sort of. I know it, uh, the uh, Amazons Tiger and Paladin could get some decent attack points, but they didn't have any easy way to spam the field. Add one hero from the deck to your hand. Oh boy. Of course he opens with Stratos. Wait, what Xyz monsters do I have here? Soul of Silver Mountain. Let's see here. It does target one set card. It cannot be activated while this is face up on the field. Once monster destroys by battle, you can target one earth monster. You can detach one, all face-up monsters you gain, currently gain 3,000 attack. Ooh, Diamond Direwolf's pretty good. Ooh, Castell. This is not in Duel Links, but enemy NPCs do have it, and it is a pain in the ass whenever they use it. Lightning Chidori. Alright, let's first of all put Call the Haunted here. Now let's see here. Rider, you can target one in your graveyard bash then if you do this card gains. Target one face up your opponent, have that until at the end phase. Well this armored bee sounds uh, promising, don't you think? Or is 101 honor arc? 
I don't think they're gonna have any number. No, they have a number card, Giga Brilliant. Wait, they have Battle Cruiser Danthus. Interesting. Karn Gorgon, Anti Luminescent Descent. I think Castel here is gonna be the main in a playmaker of this deck. Armored B, have Stratos' attack power, please, and then attack into him. There we are. Dark hole. Lovely. I think I'd rather take some damage from this or no. No, let's wait until he declares an attack. Alright, now it's battle phase. Let's go ahead and use Call the Haunted to get the B back here. Armored B. Now he can't attack for now. What monsters? Ooh, if he attempts to do something, that could be good. Uh, this is actually a wind monster, so... Now, let's see here. What do I want to special summon with these guys? Either player's turn, attach one material. I'll target another card on the field that would be appropriate. Yeah. No set monsters here, so... Do I want to go for raw attack power or Castel? Castel for his effect. You know what? Let's save Castel. Let's go for some raw muscle right now. I build the overlay network. I exceed summon. I didn't like exceed monsters at first. They felt a little too easy to summon, but I've really come around to them. They actually make a lot of otherwise weaker decks actually a lot more competent. Like. Remember I said Crystal Beasts weren't all that great? Well, they are once they can uh, make some uh, rank 3 and 4s. Plus, they have a pretty nice toolbox that can be used. They have a ton of numbers. Malevolent Sin's a popular throw in. Yeah, Malevolent Sin is the most currently the most used Xyz monster because, well, first of all, level 4s are pretty easy to get and make in general. And also, spot removal is a lot more useful in Duel Links because there's only 3 monster zones, so removing 1 is already a lot. Exceeds summon not brilliant diamond. Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, actually, isn't this zirconia? But yeah, if I remember the card storyline, after he gets corrupted by evil swarms, he basically ends up becoming the. Uh, zirconia ends up becoming this guy. Or was it master diamond after he was? No, it's a uh, yeah master diamond and crystal. No, uh, yeah, gem knight crystal is is a Master Diamond just without the fusion power active, and Zirconia is a... Uh... It has the Zirconia arm, at least, yeah. I forget a lot of the dual terminal storyline stuff, but I really do like the archetypes that tell a story, like, uh... I don't use Vendreds, but I really do like the Vendreds storyline. It's a mix of the superhero comic Spawn meets Resident Evil of sorts. I thought that's really cool. Alright, let's take him out. Guess I can put Soldier of Stone here for the moment. I have to hope Jaden does not get future fusion, because the moment he does, it may be over for me. Alright, Wing Kuril will protect his life points, but it doesn't matter because nothing else can attack. I should be safe. Master Diamond is all of them. Yeah, Master Diamond is all of them donating their power to Crystal, I believe, who becomes Master Diamond through that. I don't remember the lore for Lady Diamond, however. I'm afraid I have to look that up. Actually, I think Lady Diamond was a later edition. Now, let's go with a rank 3. Millier of the Trees. This is for plant types, so that's not too helpful. Yeah, let's go with uh, Soul of Silver Mountain. Xyz Shokan! Now, do I want to... Yeah, let's go with attack position just to get as much damage as I can get. And I do like how the monsters used to summon it become a resource for its effect. 
Uh, let's go with this unless, in case it's a clay man. It was not. Still 1800 damage to Jaden. I could... Now let's go to main phase 2 and place Call the Haunted here down so I can get back one of them if they die. Alright, I just need to hope he does not draw future fusion because the moment he does, that's going to be a pain in the rear. Alright, Dark... Disc Blade Rider. I thought it was a Dark Blade Rider, but no. Despite small size, this monster has powerful jaws that can rip metal to shreds. Right, let's go here. We are first in a tricks is out. I just have to hope he doesn't draw miracle fusion now because he actually can build a there we are. Oh dang it, he's so close to death. Alright, we have to hope he doesn't get if even if he does get future fusion, he'll be dead before it activates, so I'm safe now. Apparently the original intent was to make Xyz stronger than Synchro, but with limited use. Of all these newfangled summoning conditions, I think Synchro is my favorite because it feels kind of like contact fusion mixed with the level counting of ritual monsters, so it feels like a natural evolution. Xyz monsters I mentioned I came around, I've really come around to lately. Pendulum monsters, they're kind of my least favorite, but not because I d hate them or anything, it's more they're really overly complicated and have a lot of stuff that you don't really know unless you just know it. Like, you see the numbers on the pendulum scales, it's actually the ones in between those you summon, it's not... I can imagine more than a few people would probably think, wait, why can't I pendulum summon a level 2? The monster says right 2 right there. It's a little goofy. Funny with things like Calamities and Cyber Infinity now. Oh yeah. Let's see here. I could only do a face of Xyz, it gains attack equal to its rank. Oh, this basically counts as an additional resource. Yeah, let's make this one stronger. And we'll bring here. Actually, you know what? Let's play it safe here. Let's summon the big boy, Castell. Xe Shokan. Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer. Here we are. That's a nice little animation it has for summoning them. Alright, we're gonna use his effect. Detach two, target one card, shuffle into the deck. And it doesn't say it has to be face up, which means I can do this. Oh, face up card. Whoops. Oh well. Let's then call the haunted back to the deck. Just because I can't do anything more with it. It's not a... I think that was worth it. Uh, no. Uh, let's break whatever face down this is. Castell, bring us home. There we are. Well, good to know the structure decks are better than most of the GX era decks. Now let's see, anything else? A few more. Head in the clouds, I absolutely... Jewel of a Duel, I really don't want to use the default, so uh, I'll try the Synchro Structure Deck. Crystal Beast without a, a tuner to go into a Synchro or even some Xyz monsters, since they are really good at bringing out a bunch of level 3 and 4s. It just doesn't work. Or Rainbow Dragon, of course. It'd be nice to have a Dante on the Structure Deck. It's a generic rank 3, but I guess the mill 3 would be kind of scary on your first deck. Yeah, it might be. Of course he gets a lucky draw. What's this? Let's see here. Shell snail. Oh wow, these are awful. Oh, the tricky. You can special summon by discarding one card. Let's do precisely that then. This one's absolute garbage, so let's drop that. B-E-S Tetran. Why would it be a B-E-S? Never mind. Let's set this here. I'm not going to use its tribute effect. I'm just going to attack with it. But then again, it probably just seems bad because I don't have a tuner right now, and a tuner would make this a lot more consistent. 
a tuner would make the synchros, I mean. OG canceled, or is this? Look at the synchros, it could be a junk synchro deck. You know what? I don't know why I didn't think about that. I'll check the synchros after this. I need to get into a habit of always checking my extra deck once I enter the duels, because, you know, like I said, for the main story, I try to stick the story deck, but for the reverse duels, I am more than willing to mess around for the fake hero. Oh, crap, he's going with the, uh, contact fusion. Here we go. Chrysalis Chicky is activated. Alright, here we go. It's contact fusion. This is gonna be annoying. Elemental Hero, Air Neo. So he gains attack equal to the difference in our stats, but. Oh crap, there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. I'll just eat it. Ow. Dang it. Quit bugging me for that. Ooh, rank four. Alright, now let's see what I got here. Underworld Fighter Balmung. That's a level four, but... Do I have any... Eights. Here we are, eight. Blood Mutt Fist. Once per turn during your opponent's standby phase, inflict 300 for each card your opponent controls. Each time your opponent sets a sets a spell or trap, inflict 300 damage to your opponent. It's here, Celestial Wolf Blue Sirius. This card destroys in the graveyard target one face up your monster. It loses 2400 attack. That's actually a pretty good one. Okay, these synchros aren't half bad actually. I mean, they're not great, but they're pretty usable. Except for this one, I guess. Scrap Archfiend. Not even Stardust, huh? Well, I guess to be fair, they want you to win that from, uh... Yusei as his uh, ace card. Alright, I got myself a little Fortuner, so... Not yet. Alright. Blood Mephist. Tuner and the non-tuner. Synchro Shokan! Blood Mephist. Excellent. And we're going to activate this to, until the end of the turn. He is now stronger than Air Neos, which means I can do this. There we go. And because Neos decks are, because Neos Spatian decks are not Gladiator Beasts, yeah, go ahead and activate his effect. They can't retrieve themselves from the deck. Galaxy Serpent. Let's just set this and try attacking with the Mephisto here. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure he is Mephisto. He's ba he's listed as a fiend after all. What the? Oh, come on. How do you rev... I can't just say it can only be... Yeah, it can only be special summoned. It doesn't say it can't be special summoned other ways. Damn it. That just screwed me completely. They give you Castell for free, though. I'm guessing it's because Castell wasn't really used in the anime I, don't, anime, I don't think. Yeah, if you pop them on the field, they shuffle the extra deck. Now, Mephisto here just uses... Uh... Alright. I see what you're saying there. Or Poke LVB, so we're gonna use this effect. We're gonna use this to pop Neo Spate. Well, actually, I don't even have to pop Neo Spate, I can pop Call of the Haunted. Now, nah, let's get rid of Neo Space. No, let's not do that. Compulsory Escape Device. I guess that could be useful in the right situation. Aaron Neos has to go back to the extra deck, and because they're not Gladiator Beasts, they don't get any recovery from it. E, emergency call. 
Oh crap, don't tell me he's got a way to special summon Neos. Okay, good, he doesn't. Raigeki Break isn't gonna do anything for me, but it might help, I guess. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. If he summons anything and attacks into me, it'll be destroyed even if he takes damage. Actually... This card, summon target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Well, why not? Let's gamble. Now watch this be Mirror Force. Nope. Which means he's probably dead. Destroyed from its own effect. Darn it. Oh, crap. Send both of these back to the deck. There we go. Call the Haunted. Of course, he gets Dark Panther back. But the good news is that's the weakest monster he has, so I can potentially do something about it. I need to draw any low-level monster. Any... Ooh, actually, this is really good. Actually, do I have a Dark Machine in my graveyard? Wind Machine. Oh, yep, I do. And that means an instant level 7. Please activate Black Salvo's effect. Yeah, this is a really good card, actually. I was worried when I saw these vanilla monsters, but if Tuner's as good as Black Salvo are in here, I'm not bothered. Scrap Archfiend. This is nothing but a big beat stick, but that's precisely what I need right now. Synchro Shokan. Scrap Archfiend. There we are. We win. Oh, what's the last one here? Head in the clouds. Oh, uh, whoops. Wrong way, I wanted to switch that. Yeah. Archfiends, let's go. Non-extra effect monsters are so weird. I'd say they're fine if they're like, uh, Master of Oz, where it's 42, where it's a real ridiculously high attack monster. Granted, they're easy to make, I mean, that is. But if they require a lot of work and then don't much do much like uh, Scrap Archfiend, then yeah, I agree, it's uh, not much there. We'll just try the we'll try the story deck first, and depending how bad it is, I'll let's go second just to see what he does with the Cloudians. Cloudians can't be destroyed by battle, but to Quad Arc Five, you still take the damage. Ooh, graceful charity. Cloudy and Squall. Of course he drew that, but when I was playing as him, I never drew them, despite the fact he probably has... So... Alright, let's see. Graceful Charity. Oh, wow. Alright, well, I guess I can't complain too much if I'm getting multiple Graceful Charities in one go. Alright, V Tiger Jet, let's go ahead and use that. Uh, I don't want to call the Haunted yet. Let's do that. No, I should probably do that. It's going to bug me for a while, but it doesn't matter. I want to still deal the damage to him. I guess the star that way, but seeing. The Synchro's then 1 XC is weird. Well, Gem Knight. Yeah, Gem Knight Pearl is the, for lack of a term, vanilla XC's monster. I like Gem Knights for the same reason I like the uh, Elemental Heroes. You can fuse basically any combination to something useful, although. Oh crap. Poison Cloud. Mm hmm. 
Mm. And I could always suicide no Jama into that thing. Actually, that might be worth my time. Let's do precisely that. No, not called on it yet. Oh, I guess you can't kill uh, zero attack monsters. With I can't, so you can't. Uh, oh well. B Tiger Jet's better than nothing. After all, he can. This acid cloud can't be destroyed easily, but it can. I can still make sure he takes the damage. I believe this destroys spell and trap cards. Yes, he can. So. I also think he can only use the effect once per turn. Oh, no, he can't. He can do as many times as he darn well pleases. Oh my, he's tributing. Nimbus Man. Big Brain Strategy. Ow, that really hurt. Alright, let's get this back in here. Uh, V Tiger Jet, get back out here. Ooh, Z Metal Tank. Good, 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 good. And let's activate another Swords of Revealing Light. Oh crap, it can't be destroyed by battle. Well, I'm in trouble because that thing's only gonna get stronger as time goes by since I don't have any way of getting rid of Cloud Squall. Since in the anime episode, Chaz had no way to get rid of it, so in this duel he can't get rid of it either. This guy discards from my hand, I believe. by all means, destroy Ojama Black. Natural disaster. Oh, lovely. That's not going to be massively frustrating, no, sir. Well, at least I can attack into this Cloudian right here and still do damage, but he's going to get rid of me sooner or later. Because I have absolutely no defenses against Nimbus Man, and Nimbus Man is very much a uh, snowball in character. Okay, good. I can do even more damage. I just need to get another monster that I can attack into Acid Cloud with. Oh, he's gonna recall the Haunted to get rid of Tiger Jet there. Alright, let's get it back here. Chain Strike. Gonna have to activate this because it's just gonna remove it next time. Alright, good thing is I just need to, uh... Alright, he's probably gonna try and destroy both those to OTK me because he's more than powerful enough for that. He's not, oh my. I think I've just won then, because he didn't use Acid Cloud's effect for some reason. I don't know why it keeps defaulting to Nimbus Cloud. There we are, though. Do -do 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 -do. I think those are the only two left. Yes, it is. Blinded by the light and schooling the master. I'm gonna grab a drink real quick before I go into- oh, these- and duel for hire.
Uh, Duel for Hire, I'm absolutely going to be using a uh, user deck for. Uh, you know, a Pendulum Structure deck. Let's go with this one, since this is the only one I haven't used yet. I'm going to grab a drink real quick so before I start this duel, so give me a moment, please. There we go, refreshing. Alright. Here we go. Second to go, that's perfectly fine. I have no idea what is in this pendulum deck, so it'll be fun finding out. Ah, nice, we start with... Okay, let's... Seventh... Okay, never mind, I can't use these two as the pendulum scale. Here. This guy has no pendulum effect. Alright, Pendulum Effective. Normal monster attacks, defense, position, like piercing. That is not particularly impressive, not gonna lie. And shield, once card destroyed by battle, instead the graveyard can have the attack until the end phase. I guess that's fine. Actually, I should probably should have used Blue Dragon Summoner instead. Whoops. Oh well, not like it matters too much. Toon Kingdom. End phase. Breaker the Magical Warrior. <laughs> this card someone plays one spell counter on it. Would be destroyed, it could be one. <laughs> one spell counter time. <laughs> You know what, let's do this just to get rid of uh, Toon Kingdom here. Battle phase time. Here we are. We're actually dealing damage this time around, not bad. Flash knight. Turn change. Did Pegasus draw nothing? Judge man, really? Um... What? I guess he must have drawn nothing but a hand of paperweights. Ah, here we are. Placed in the pendulum zone. Alright, place in pendulum zone. Now we get to see some pendulum summoning. Alright. Pendulum summon. Judge man and breaker of the mag and defender of the magical knight. This should be good. Here we are. Pendulum summoning. That was honestly a bit disappointing of an animation, I'm not gonna lie. Which is a shame, because I actually did really like the Xyz summoning one, and the Distant Curl summoning one's alright. Oh. Now watch one of that be Mirror Force. Ha <laughs> Blinded by the light. We're gonna try the story deck before I do any of the others, because I believe Chaz actually has a unique deck in this fight. Here we are. Let's go second. Trap hole, I should probably place this. Alright, let's summon the white ninja. Shame there's... 
Shame there's no full ninja here yet. There might be once I reach arc 5, though. Hmm. There we are. Ojama Green destroyed. Ojama Country. So it's a normal summon, and you know what that means. Trap hole, and thanks to a Jama Country, well, there we go. Soul Charge. Dunem is Dark Witch. Still light monster, though. Tribute to the... No, not yet. Oh, no, I should. I can't take it back. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, I can't destroy Jama Country. Oh well, I can do this though. Pierce damage that. Now that everyone's at full power again, I can do this. This is actually an interesting deck. It's entirely light based, I believe. Now destroy Ojama Country. He's trying to get them all out so he can use a Jama Delta Hurricane or fuse them into... Ooh, perfect. Ojama Country is destroyed. I can activate Swords Revealing Light while I'm here. Not that it really matters much, I guess. The Ojamas are failing. Funny Chaz is supposed to be a member of the Society of Lightyear, but he still has his trademark black outfit. Sorry, Jaden, it's too late for you to... Fuse into a Jama Knight. Light effigy. Mm -hmm. Alright. White Ninja, Pierce, Ojama Black. There we are. Schooling the Master. Alright, story deck. We'll try once with the story deck before I decide to go through the uh, structure decks we have. Let's go and go second. Chancellor Shepard. I think this is the only time he really duels in GX. Cyberstein? Holy crap. Summon a Cyber Summon Blaster. Each time a monster special summoned, like the energy of your opponent. What's in my fusion deck here? Cyber Ogre. Cyber Ogre. Alright, activate. Graceful Charity. Cyber. Yeah, let's get rid of Cyber Archfiend. Whatever that is, I want it gone. Defusion. That could have actually been quite dangerous for me. Alright, another Graceful Charity. Cyber Esper, Rolls Machine Up, you can look at every card your opponent draws. Fusion, Conscription, I do not need this because I'm going to be doing something really, really dumb. Cyber Stein. Activate its effect. 5,000 life points. Special Summon Cyber Ogre 2. Cyber Stein is also a card that got banned in Duel Links. There was a skill that, long story short, there was a skill that made it so that any ability that costs you life points to use would not cost it for one turn in the entire duel, so people would use it with Cyber Stein to summon 
their entire extra deck, basically. You, even though you can only summon two due to the limited uh, be monster fields, you can probably would be the surprise of absolutely no one that it uh, caused some problems. Battle phase. There we are. Not do anything. Cyber Dragon is in defense mode. Sure, let's bring out Cyber Esper, I guess. Cyber repair plant. Yeah, the point of defusion is to defuse one of your own monsters so that you can summon back the materials. You attack with the fusion monster, defuse it, attack with the components, but you can also use it in the opponent's fusion monster. And since it only revives the ones from your graveyard, that means the enemy doesn't get to revive the ones they fused into it. Which is always fun. Alright, we're gonna tribute Cyberstein here, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, since this guy can beat over the Cyber Dragon, let's do this. Defusion. Alright, he's gonna survive one more turn, so I need to destroy him in the next turn however I can. Cyber Repair Plant, both effects. Is he thinking? Cyber Dragon Core. Summoning a Cyber Dragon. It's over. Okay, yeah, I was able to win with the story deck just battle phase time. There we are. Excellent. Is that all of them? I do believe that's all of them. Alright, I think. I'm going to be uh, doing a bit of a palette cleanser, so I'll probably do a non-Yu-Gi-Oh game. Probably some to Canada, Canada or Streets of Rogue, just for a change of pace. But next week, I'll definitely be back. I think I might actually jump to Zexal since I just saw the series for both. Yeah. Plus, I've, there, I'll, by going through here, I'll unlock some decks I actually really like, so I can even start doing stuff like Middleche play. That'll be. Fun. Alright, well now, thank you for watching, hope you had a good time, I saved my VODs for as long as Twitch